Hello and welcome back to a kooky corner of YouTube. Ooh, my voice is going. First of all, can I say thank you all so very much. I have reached my 1000 subscribers. I'm so happy. I'm really, really absolutely ecstatic. Thank you to everybody who supports me, everybody who watches, everybody who clicks their thumbs on the videos and everybody who subscribes because you make my day and thank you very much. Okay, today we're looking at journaling and the, uh, specifically uh, journaling books, art journaling books. I have a whole plethora of them here. Um, I've said my top 10, but I think there's about 11 actually, and I've probably got another 10 indoors. <laughs> these are the ones I could lay my hands on, so I thought I would go through these ones with you. So, without further ado, in no particular order can I say, let's have a look at this one first. So this is the Inner Hero Creative Art Journal, Mixed Media Messages to Silence Your Inner Critic. And I think we all need that sometimes, don't we? So, uh, this is by Quinn MacDonald. It's a North Light book, and I always do like the North Light books. I have to say, they are awesome. Um, so let's have a look at our content. So we've got Breaking the Ice, The Scribe and Free Writing, The Tarot Reader and Twin and Transform, The Alchemist and Guided Visualization, The Gardener and Tool Identification, The Wise Woman and Revisiting Wise Words, Bringing Your Inner Heroes into Your Life, Storing and Carrying Your Pages, and then a lot of other things as well. So. So, you are not alone at the work table with your inner critic. You are with your inner heroes, those parts of you that are brave and strong and talented and seldom get a voice. This book helps you to discover your inner heroes, call them to you, hear them out and let them confront your inner critic with you. So you get a backup. <laughs> uh, by the end of the chapter, you'll notice that the book is based on an entirely new way to art journal by using loose leaf pages. It's an interesting concept. and. Most people think of a journal where you've got something bound or something that you make as you go along. These are loose leaf ones. Um, so it says you'll create art on one side and on, write on the other. So you've got art on one side, writing on the other side. So I'm not gonna go through everything in these books. I'm just gonna give you a quick, quick flip through of them. And it gives you different worksheets that you can work with. Um, writing about your inner heroes. So who are your inner heroes? A scribe of free writing. I don't know if any of you have ever done morning pages by, um, from uh, The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. That's something really interesting to do. And I've, I keep starting it and then, and then stopping, but I need to start it again, I have to say. So then we go into abstract ink art, uh, writing techniques. So this is a combination of writing and artwork to bring out everything that you have inside to the forefront. We've got a bit on fabric and paper collage there, something that I'm really getting into at the minute. And I'm looking at so many different ways of uh, achieving it. I've done it before, uh, but it was quite a while back and I'm really wanting to bring that into my stitching again. So we've got bits about the garden, some more natural, wander into the greenhouse of your imagination, patterned leaves. If anybody's had the scrawler box from this um, February, that's the, the hashtag 91, you'll probably see something like this on the artwork that we've had given to us in the box. Illustrating on eggshells. I mean, so many different things that you could look at. Soy soy silk paper, how to make your own soy silk paper, collage combining, drawing with sheer fabrics. The lists are endless. It's a really, really good book. Um, it takes quite a bit of reading. There's quite a bit of reading to do in this one, I have to say. Um, so it's storing and carrying your pages, the expandable holder. That's a really good idea. Um, repurposing an old book. A lot of people use that now, don't they? And then all about monsoon papers. I love monsoon papers. <laughs> I have a whole collection of them in a drawer. 
So that's that one. In a Hero Creative Art Journal, Mixed Media Messages to Silence Your Critics by Quinn McDonald. I will try and find links to all of these and leave them in the description box below. So do not worry, I will try my best. Some of them may be out of print. Some of them you may be able to get secondhand because some of these are quite old. Um, I'm trying to look for a date on this one. Can't find one. Nine, oh, 2013. So that's three years, uh, ten years ago. Three years ago. Ten years ago. Okay. This is one of the latest ones I've got. This is Layers of Meaning. Elements of Visual Journaling by Rakafet Hadar or Hadar. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. It's full of colour. And this jumps to me. It, as soon as I saw this, one of the read-throughs of this somewhere, I can't remember where it was, I thought, I've got to have that. And so it's the element of intention connecting with your inner dream child, magical coincidence, the background, images, lines and shapes, colour and blots, text, and the seven elements. So the seven elements is what is this is based upon. And if I can find a picture... Do, do, do. somewhere the seven elements here we are there's a picture in here so if I can pull that there so we've got the seven elements are magical coincidence images text color background and lines so those are the all, all the seven elements that compose the visual journal in this case obviously they go through materials and things but mostly you can use whatever you have on hand um, and I, I advocate that a lot uh, use what you have and then if you find something that you like just try a couple of them and see how well you like them before you invest in things but as you can see this is supremely wonderful there's a lot of collage elements in here which I'm liking uh, mixed and matched with a load of other mixed media things and I actually adore this book just just sit down and look at it and, and it makes me feel happy there's more of a summary of the seven elements here different exercises that you can do to work through this again she keeps referring back to these elements I actually do adore this so much <laughs> and yeah recommended this one so this is Layers of Meaning, Visual Elements of Visual Journeying by Rakafet Hadar or Hadar. I do apologise if I have mangled that name, but that's that one. Next one I have, I've had this for quite some time. I actually have a spare copy of this one as well. So if anybody's interested, uh, it has to be UK, I'm afraid. Postage wise, it's going to cost a fortune. But if you're in the UK and you fancy a copy of this, I've got a spare one. So <laughs> first person to drop me a line, will get one of these. So yeah, drop me a line in the messages and the first one that pop crops up and I will message you and we'll get it sent off to you. If you're interested in it, it has got a DVD in it. It shows you how old it is. Quite an old one. I don't know. It will still work on DVD players if you have one. So you've got a DVD included and it is a workshop so Tracy Bunkers this is from 2011 so again quite a while back but still valid if you are interested in journaling and art journaling in particular choosing a book preparing a book mis miscellaneous tools cutting tools adhesives things like that attachment tools embellishments color media Bloody blur de blur, lots and lots of that. Pens and pencils. Uh, creating a three page spread. So, yeah, this is kind of like a beginner's guide talking you through everything you need to do to start off. And then, obviously, you can go off in your own sweet way. So, yes, commitment cards that's a cool one. Um, things that help you make small changes that will help you make your life better and you can create commitment cards so different things that you read books read inspirational books or work in my journal just things to remind you that you need to do these things so meditate yoga i've i've wanted to take up yoga of recent times i have done some previously uh, years back but not recently so yeah, really cool book. Also references The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron, which is a book that I absolutely adore and love. Um, so I have got that. 
also but I haven't got it in this pile anyway I'm going to be away for a while as I said so if you do put your name down and you want a copy of this as I say I've got a spare one and I'm going to gift it to you for nothing um, um, I will also link it down below I don't know if they're still in print you can still find them but I have got a spare one so the first person to um, let me know in the comments down below I'll gift one of these to you in the UK only I apologize I'm really sorry people has to be UK only because of cost of postage etc next journal junkies workshop uh, visual ammunition for the art addict so let's start at the beginning start at the very beginning I'm not going to sing all the way through gives you a little bit about the authors here this is Eric M Scott and David R Modler so you get a little bit about how to keep a visual journal who keeps a visual journal anybody who wants to can keep a visual journal types of journal bindings art supplies um, wet media equipment that you might need and collage fodder loving uh, loving some a bit of collage at the moment I'm really really into it basic journal art journal kit travel kit and then we go into their wonderful ways of getting texture down onto paper so it goes into detail um, anything goes with an art journal it is your art journal it is not up for art journal police to judge whether it's good or not it is up to you or what you put in yours but this gives you lots and lots and lots of different ways that you can make your own mark on your own journal this is quite good prompt so sometimes you think oh what am I going to put in my journal well this has got a load of different ideas so who's your favorite artist who's your favorite musician it's things you could ask yourself but sometimes you don't always remember to a random word out of a dictionary a piece of music a poem things like that and then goes into detail of how you can experiment with text so sorry my phone just did a do uh, Eric M Scott David R Modler the journal junkies workshop next on my list we have creative awakenings envisioning the life of your dreams through art by Sherry Gaynor okay so let's get into this one um dedication to start off with contents gearing up mile marker envisioning process process step by step mile markers and then you go through a year so this starts in june and works it's all with the way back around to june again so through the year and what you are doing here is creating uh, supplies for your journey first of all supplies that you're going to need the envisioning process so creating the art of intention another thing that I am very 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 keen on is um, intention and setting your intentions and um, envisioning them before you even achieve them really interested in that concept of making sure that you are setting yourself on the right path so this is painting by touch interesting the december dreamer so it goes through each month and gives you a different challenge to do on each one which is really cool and it's not based specifically in a journal which is what i like and the transformation deck so making your own deck like an oracle deck but more of a guiding principles to make your own little deck of cards which is cool and something I also want to do creating your own round robin journal so it's a good way to keep in touch with people if you've got a group of people who are all uh, part of a group or your friends maybe that's a good one to do for that so this is also a North Light book is it is it an old light book? I'm not sure. In the back also it gives you some cards to work on. So you've got like these that you can um, perforations you can tear out and use if you want to. 
there that's that one okay which one next let's go for dreaming from the journal page this is by melanie tester transforming the sketchbook to art um so we got the what we got get to know get to know it color get to know it the techniques drawing the throwdowns and gallery okay so we always have in these some equipment that you might want to be getting in order to complete these things something interesting here is the, the color wheel so going into color in a, in a more of an in-depth way than some of the books that i've shown you already um how to use watercolor so wet on wet low water to color gradation so it is going more into the techniques of using some of these things so tracing paper overlays hand carved rubber fun phone funky phone that's always a great way of making a little stamp for yourself out of just funky phone and i think that's cool frisket pages say say wax you can't resist this so this is a resist technician soy wax not say wax soy wax is a resist medium i nearly bought some soy wax for something i can't remember what it was oh i know it was for my sculptures but i realized that was a wrong kind of wax to buy <laughs> so i didn't buy it but it's obviously good for something in here all about drawing drawing techniques drawing the human value so this is more of a how to than getting into the nitty gritty of why to but it's very valid still all the same and lots of good and interesting information in that book so that is dreaming from the journal page that's by melanie tester transforming the sketchbook to art next oh sorry penguin creative wildfire an introduction to art journaling basics and beyond so it's got a free a recycled blank sketchbook in the back which is this boy here it's got a lot of blank pages so you can go to town with that if you so wish um let's get that out of the way that's a bookmark thing um so this is by lk ludwig ludwig uh, quarry books publication get gathering fuel how to get started the tinder box build a fire so it's all fire analogies bursting into flames feeding the fire and keeping the fire burning so it's all different ways so the first one is gathering fuel how to get started choosing a journal um, how to bind simple book uh, simple accordion fold journals so much information on how to make your own uh, surface to work on which is basically all we need isn't it we need the surfaces to work on and then you go into imagery so the keeper of the flame is um, commitment to the process and the practice of making art which is what i said previously in one of my videos you have to make time to do the things if you want to do the thing you have to give yourself the time to do the thing and and don't make make art priority is what i'm kind of trying to say here so give yourself the time to do what you want to do but you can see to this it's a nice colorful book lots and lots of information lots of like little things so you can make little pocket tabs and envelopes that go inside i, I really like that it's like leaving a little note to yourself that you can revisit love it um fueling your creativity so fueling your re creativity could be things like visiting the library getting some new books um having a chat with an artistic friend who does similar things to you but maybe tackles it in a different way it's it's pushing your boundaries basically try and look at what other people are doing but not copying but kind of getting inspiration from and that is what i like about this one particularly there we go so yeah creative wildfire by lk ludwig we've got so many artists journaling jour artist journals and sketchbooks this is by lynn perella if you ever had a copy of the cloth paper scissors which was my bible uh, about 10 years ago i loved it and had every copy of it sadly now out of print and and, and no longer printing um, but this is kind of an introduction 
book. So getting started. I love how there's lots of layers in Limperella's work and she's had other people come in to add their points to this. So this was a um, piece by artist Limperella, but we've also got Rhonda Roebuck. And it's kind of giving everybody's little take on different things that you could have in a journal, how you could put a journal together. Attachment techniques, I like that. So spring binding, spiral binding, cloth. So again, a lovely book to look at. Lots of visuals there as well. I am uh, loving this. <laughs> I'm a big day of the dead or Dia de las Muertos. And I, well, it's one of my times of the year where we celebrate people who've passed, obviously, but I want to make this, I want to make myself a, a, a variation of this, should I say, uh, maybe in a dress form. So to that end, I've got myself um, a denim dress, which I'm going to repurpose and add things to. So that's giving me vibes there. Um, repurposing board books, children's old board books is a great substance for like working over the top of. Anyway, that's Artists, Journals and Sketchbooks by Lynn Perella. Start journaling, an arts journal workbook by Christy Conlon. Now, let's see what date this was. I can't remember. can't remember anything. 2013. So this is Start Journaling, an art journaling workbook. So this is more of a um, getting started a lot of them all they all have some kind of getting starters started section um altering your journal um so again we've got people who it's not just christy conlin it's people who come from outside so we've got a bit there by melanie testo we've just seen the book dreaming from the journal page so it's a collection of other people's ideas and also it gives you space to write in, so it's also a journal in itself. The Mutant Journal Inspiration Board, love that. <laughs> Monsoon Papers Inspiration Board, adding to your journal. So in this one, you get actual space to practice, try things out, word prompts, etc. So that's that one. <sighs> Dina Wakeley, love Dina Wakeley. This is the Art Journal Freedom book, How to Journal Creatively with Colour and Composition. Tools and Materials, Symmetry and Asymmetry, White Space, Continuance and Closure, Proximity. Um, lots and lots of things to try in here, lots of visuals to show you. Rule of thirds, very important if you want to create something that's pleasing to your eye. Um, I like this bit as well. Allow the eyes and mind to rest before absor absorbing more. So use of white space in any of your journals is, is good because it gives you your eyes a break from all the things that are going on. Sadly, it doesn't always happen in my work. <laughs> it's kind of an explosion of your eyeballs uh, a lot of the time, but very, very interesting point. Proximity and combining different techniques together. This is a really, really lovely book just to look through and have a read through and try some of the exercises that are inside. There's some color basics in here as well. A lot of these cover some of the similar ideas, but you get them from a different perspective of the person writing the book and you also get different bits as to things that they're interested in obviously because they wrote the book so they have uh, a say over what they put in them but there's always some kind of materials always some kind of a journal um, walkthrough and always some kind of exercises for you to try it's just really whichever one floats your boat so that's art journal freedom by dina wakeley the next one i have here is journal bliss this is my 10th one by the way i have got a spare one as well <laughs> underneath <laughs> i can never do numbers properly can i say top 10 it's actually top 11 but uh, you know you get an extra journal bliss by violet creative prompts to unleash your inner eccentric now this is me <laughs> i love this book so much 
Follow your bliss. What makes your heart sing? Journal bliss. A chat with a gremlin. I do that a lot. <laughs> so what I think you're really worried about is I'll end up alone and that I'll end up alone and unloved and that I might get hurt if I get some rejection. Thank you for caring. What I really could use is some love and support from you. Love it. So again, we're going into the inner critic. Inner critic is the one that grabs you the most. It gets you by the throat and it makes you seize up and stop doing things. And that's the bit we have to get past. Um, so yeah, using talk bubbles in your journal. This is a completely different way of looking at a journal. Um, borders if you like doing like fancy borders around things bohemian borders tools for healing that could be an art journal in itself where you just take a, a subject and just draw things to go along with long-necked girls oh i had a whole session with long-necked girls once in a while also big-eyed girls as well <laughs> yeah we'll go into that one day when we get to know each other better maybe Snazzy stencils, cool. Random crazy quilt background, now that appeals to me. This is the kind of thing I'm doing at the minute. So I'm doing a mix of fabric and uh, paper collage at the moment, so I'm enjoying that. Image transfer techniques, and lots and lots and lots more. So follow your bliss, that's Journal Bliss by Violet. And again, I will leave links to all of these in the description box below the video. Last but not least, um, this is uh, drawn in. This is a peek into the inspiring sketchbooks of 44 fine artists, illustrators, graphic designers and cartoonists. And this is uh, also Julia Rossman with a forward by Vanessa Davis. But it's a quarry book. I always do like these. I've got quite a few of these in my bookshelves which are extensive as you can imagine <laughs> this is just a small part of what I have I am a bookaholic hi I'm Kuki I'm bookaholic and I am not ashamed to say so okay so this is a peek into si inside the art journals of all these different artists that are listed on the contents I don't know about you but I love journal flip throughs or sketchbook flip throughs that I see and I always get ideas and inspiration from looking at how other people use their journals or their sketchbooks. And I just love it. Love, love, love looking through this. So all the different artists, I'm just going to flip through this really quickly because each one is a different artist. There's got to be something in here that would grab you um, and give you an idea for things that you could do in your journal, although there are no rules <laughs> this is what I keep Im imparting there are no rules to your artwork to your journal you can do whatever you like these are just guidelines gateways um, and what you do with it after that is is entirely up to you okay that's it from me 11 of these hope you've enjoyed it if you have give me some of those thumbs show me the thumbs up and if you like what we're doing here on this channel please um, consider subscribing because it will make me do a happy dance and one day I'll show you uh, a video of that particular happy dance if I get enough people subscribing <laughs> yeah okay bye for now